Welcome in to another edition of Where the 99 Lead. It's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville, where we talk about all things regarding the University of Pikeville. I'm Andrew Joyce, your host and special guest today. It's a softer, kinder, prettier edition of Where the 99 Lead. Katina Justice, Director of the Miss U Pike Pageant, welcome in. Thank you. Been here before. We've talked about the pageant. Of course, last year the first. We'll talk more about that. And the very first, Miss U Pike. I told you it was a prettier edition. <laughs> Caitlin Menix, a recent graduate of the University of Pike, but welcome in. Thank you. Also a return guest. Uh, a guest on the program last year after your, uh, you began your reign as Miss University of Pikeville. We want to talk about your year, how things have been, what it's been like as you've uh, uh, participated and moved on as Miss U Pike representing the university. Uh, Katina, the Miss University of Pikeville pageant debuted last year, and of course we have our first Miss U Pike uh, here with us today. Let's talk about some of the things that people may not realize the benefits to the students that participate in the pageant. I could talk all day about the benefits of got, scholarship got pageantry, <laughs> but uh, in particular, the Miss U Pike pageant is close to U Pike students, so we're guaranteed to send a representative from this school sure. to compete at the Miss Kentucky pageant. Right. Uh, there's scholarship money to be awarded, but beyond that, it's the experience that they have while preparing to compete that makes the most difference in their futures, I believe. Sure. They gain confidence. Total confidence if they go into it with a good attitude. They have to prepare for an interview. Sure. And this is like the most stressful job interview <laughs> that you could possibly have. Yes. At five judges firing questions at you, personal questions, politics. Uh, social issues, opinion questions, right. and uh, you have to look calm and cool in heels while doing it. Yes. Uh, it motivates young women to take a really good look at their physical fitness sure. and to learn to multitask going to school, sometimes even working. We right. have a lot of college athletes that compete uh, while maintaining their physical fitness, maintaining uh, their community service, right. and preparing for the competition. Yes. Now, the Miss U Pike pageant, you talked about physical fitness, uh, you've talked about interviews, but uh, is there also a talent involved? There is a talent involved. And Multitasking. Definitely. This is for our performers, um, and performing doesn't come easily to everyone. I'm going to brag on Caitlin a lot, probably. Uh, Caitlin actually learned a talent yes. to compete last year, and uh, she was very focused and determined that she would be able to, to be competitive uh, doing her talent, which was clogging. Yes. Very entertaining. Everyone enjoyed sure. it and loved it. And it, it worked well with her natural ability because she was a long distance runner. She had a lot of stamina. Right. And, and with clogging, you do have to have uh, a lot of stamina and good breath, yes. wouldn't you say, yes. Caitlin? Definitely. Clogging, <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a rich part of our history and tradition in Eastern Kentucky. And it's almost become a lost art. I'm glad that someone of a younger generation has learned that. If you did have to learn it for the pageant. Caitlin, we want to talk about that. Katina talks about multitasking and being a student, mm -hmm. being a student athlete, and preparing for a pageant, possibly in the workforce, and a pageant coming up. You had a, a, a strange story that was part of your pageant experience in the first Miss U Pike pageant. Yes. Uh, Let's talk about that. Yeah, I um, actually, I have never done a pageant before, and um, I saw Katina one day standing outside, and she was trying to recruit all these girls, and I was like, okay, I, I may give it a shot. Um, I actually played basketball two years for the college, and right. I ran cross country for four years. Yes. So, um, I mean, I wouldn't call myself a tomboy, but I sure was no girly girl either. Sure. Um, but yes, um, I decided to try it out, and um, it was a lot of preparation. I was, um, at the time, a double major in both nursing and psychology, right. and I was running, and I actually had my conference race the day of the pageant. <laughs> so. I was in Ohio, and um, a friend of mine actually told me to jump in the vehicle with her because all the other runners wanted to stop and eat. Sure. 
So I jumped in this girl's minivan and here we took off and came back to Pikeville and I got here right on time. So right on time. Right man. on time for interview and um, we actually had a little mix up in the back there. I think um, I lost like my shirt, my opening number shirt, uh, but it, it was good. It was good. It was a stressful. Get under pressure. I'm good under say. pressure, I guess you can say. A stressful day. A trip to Ohio, run a couple miles, uh, drive yeah. back, lose your wardrobe, and then calm, cool, and collected handle the interview questions enough to be the first Miss University of Pikeville. Congratulations on that honor. And um, let's talk about your first year, your reign mm -hmm. as Miss Upike. Well, um, like Katina, I'm sure she's going to mention later. Um, the thing that I love the most about the Miss America organization is that you do have to have a platform. Yes. And it really should be something that you're just passionate about, something that you want to get out there in the community and promote. And mine was bone marrow donation. Uh, I had a cousin who uh, unfortunately passed away at the age of 22 with leukemia. Right. And we were super close. And I struggled with that, just the grieving process. And this really helped me through that process. Yeah. And um, there was a, a young boy here in the community that I'm sure a lot of people know. And I want to mention him today, uh, Nick Samples. Yes. And uh, Ashley. And I became really close with their family. And I was able to um, go out and get donations to help him and his family. And I still try, excuse me, try my best to keep in contact with them as much as possible. Sure. It's uh, precious. And from what I've heard last time I talked to him, his, they're doing, he's doing really well now. And um, so I was able to um, also have a uh, bone marrow, um, help me out here. A donor a, drive? Yes, a donor drive. Yes. Um, at the college and was able to get in nearly, I believe it was 55 new people in the registry. That's so. incredible. And, and that's 55 folks that could certainly change oh, lives. Yes. And that's what it's all about. Of course, the platform, also scholarships, uh -huh. and uh, you get to travel on. The, the Miss U Pike, of course, the first and the next will be part of the Miss Kentucky pageant. Talk about that experience. Oh. Well, I, I, all the time. I talk about it all the time. It was the greatest experience. Um, I, I put it at the equivalence of my senior trip in high school. Yes. It was that much fun. And uh, we just get to go around uh, to the Children's Miracle. Uh, well, we go around and we try to raise up money for the Children's Miracle Network. Mm -hmm. And we also got to go to the UK Children's Hospitals and do a lot of just community service, even while we're down there in Lexington. Right. And uh, you get to meet so many new friends. And me and Jessica Casebolt are Miss Kentucky now. Yes. We actually became really close. And I still laugh about uh, Jessica. She was the most calm person at Miss Kentucky. Yes. Uh, we actually, uh, I can remember going to a lady's house and uh, a lot of people were, they had their like books out. They were like trying to study for interview the next day. And I go in the room, and Jessica's like, "Do you guys? Do you want to take a nap?" I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." So we lay down on the couch, so and we sleep a little bit, and things. Like I said, she was just so calm, and she done outstanding, and we're really excited to absolutely for her. Course, she is our Miss Kentucky, and she's she's just a Pikeville girl. She's an Eastern Kentucky girl, and we're so proud to have her representing uh, us at uh, the Miss uh, Miss America pageant. Caitlin Minix, ladies and gentlemen, our first University of Pikeville, and uh, you're tuned to Where the 99 Lead, talking to Katina Justice. She is the director of the Miss U Pike pageant, and Caitlin Minix, recent graduate of U Pike. Caitlin, you graduated in December, I guess, and uh, what was your major? Well, I graduated with a psychology degree, my and, bachelor's in psychology. And your plans now? So, actually, I, I get this a lot. Everyone's like, are you going to go on psychology or, you know, what now at this point? But I'm actually looking into special education to, to teach. We want to talk more about your experience at the university uh, before we wrap up. But Katina, uh, Miss Upike, our first here and what a great representative of the university representing the first Miss U Pike. Who can participate in this year's pageant? This is a closed competition. There are Miss Kentucky preliminaries across the state that are open. You can live wherever right. and show up and compete. But this is closed to only full-time U Pike students 
ages 18 to 24, right. and there's a stipulation you can't turn 25 by December 31st sure. of the next year because you can't be 25 and compete at Miss America. Right. Um, you can never have been married or have had children, right. and uh, you can't have any criminal history. This is not Miss Upike's rules. These are the Miss America rules. These are Miss rules America because rules. Because the, the winner would yes. eventually move on, could. And the state rules are that you must be a resident full-time student or have a full-time job in the state that you compete in. Right. One of our contestants this year is uh, Jennifer Grant, and she's originally from Florida. Yes. But she is a full-time student at UPike, so she's eligible c to compete for the Miss Kentucky title. How many uh, participants in this year's pageant so far? We'll have five this year. Very good. Very good. And, of course, all full-time students at the University uh, of Pikeville, just like Caitlin Minix. Mm -hmm. Miss Upike goes on, gets her degree uh, in December, and uh, changing our world. That's what it's all about. Uh, why should Upike students want to participate in this competition? It's a wonderful opportunity to represent the school at the state level, but just as a, a girl, this is going to push you beyond what you would consider your normal everyday life. Absolutely. And, and teach you a lot of skills that you can use in the workforce. Uh, great networking, opportunities to meet people from across the state. And I guarantee the girls that compete in Miss Kentucky are going to be successful at whatever they do. Uh, so these are going to be amazing girls that you're going to get to meet at state. And um, I would say the girls got close that competed just in Miss Upike. Uh, we, had the opportunity to do lots of rehearsals and, and things last year and it's a bonding experience to put yourself out there and to perform and be judged yes um, and i think that it's a good lesson in um, grace under pressure sure. and, and handling um, adversity and di even disappointment that comes along because there can only be one winner that's right uh, but the best part is when you can be sincerely happy for your representative and uh, support her when she goes on to state. Yeah. And I know it, Caitlin had at least one other contestant that made the trip to Miss Kentucky to support her. Very good. Caitlin Minix, you've been a basketball player. You've stepped to the free throw line with the game on the line. Which is more pressure, that situation or the Miss U Pike or Miss Kentucky pageant? In my situation, I would have to say basketball. Really? I, this sounds so crazy, but. Um, I found myself more anxious during a cross country race, um, actually more than basketball, I still don't understand that, but I would always get really nervous. And I believe that just comes with uh, experience. I've been d playing basketball running cross country since I was like in the fourth grade or so. And I just honestly did not know what to expect when I got to Miss Kentucky. So yeah. when I got on that stage, I just, went with it. I didn't have any nerves and um, I, which of course I said I'm really religious and I said my prayers before I went on stage sure. to just keep me calm. But I'm, I'm pretty sure though if I were to go back my nerves would, uh, I would have a different answer for you. <laughs> I think that one would change. Yes. And of course you've been playing basketball running all your life. Clogging was new. Uh -huh, yes, and it it's something you learned. How long did it take you to learn that as a talent portion of right. the pageant? Well, the Miss UPAC pageant was November the 5th of last year, and I actually um, got up with a lady from back in Sayersville who had taught lessons for a while. So she just kind of gave me the rundown of just the basic steps. So we pulled just, you know, a simple routine for the Miss UPAC pageant. But then I knew I was going on to Miss Kentucky, so I had to step up my game. Yes. So I actually contacted Tanya Mullins. She was a, a former Miss Kentucky from exactly. here in the Pike County area. Sure. So I contacted her, and oh, I, I just I'm so grateful for her. She really, really helped me f to prepare for this pageant and gave me contacts to um, a, a dance group in Lexington, actually the Winchester area, uh -huh. and I contacted them and I would travel. Um, I actually, I, I began lessons, I guess it was the end of last semester, I was still juggling classes, and I would actually leave from class um, up until the pageant in July and travel to Winchester twice a week 
and then I would work out three times a week with April Van Hoos, a personal trainer here in Pike County. Wow. So it's a it's a lot of, of hard work and yes. dedication if you truly want to represent your title well. Was it and worth it? it it was definitely worth it. Like she said, it, it really does help give you more confidence. It um, it just builds you as a as a person. It really does. And I would encourage any young girl to participate in it. Win or lose. I mean, I've been in both situations, and I would I don't regret it at all. Which is tougher, the Miss uh, U Pike or Miss Kentucky interview, or this program? Oh, if you were a tree, <laughs> what type of tree would you be? I'm sure she has a good answer for that. <laughs> if I was a tree, no. Um, <laughs> you, so you asked me if, if which one was more difficult. Sure. Um, like I said, probably I found myself more a little bit more nervous for the Miss Pike, I guess where it was it was technically my first, first. pageant. And I went down there. It all depends on how you go about it and how you look at it when you go to Miss Kentucky. I went into it uh, ready to just have fun, just meet new people. I didn't have that, uh, I guess, focus, you can say, as I do in basketball, like I have to win. Right. I wanted to win, of course. Every yeah. girl wants to win. but. I went down there thinking, you know, I'm going to have fun. I'm just going to enjoy this experience and just meet new friends. It's not all about getting the claws out and trying to, you know, fight all the girls for the crown. It's Hang on. I've seen some of the reality shows. Some <laughs> oh, of those yes. mothers are tough. <laughs> and that's and, not the reality of Miss Kentucky. No, okay. It's no. not. But there are some things that change maybe the night before the, the pageant starts. Everyone starts, but, you know, everyone just starts to get more focused. Game faces. Game faces. Game yeah, faces. you get your game faces. The reigning Miss U Pike, Caitlin Minix, and Katina Justice, director of the Miss U Pike pageant. And we talk about the pageant. First of all, when is this year's pageant and uh, where will it be held? It's Saturday, January the 22nd, or I'm sorry, 26th, mm -hmm. at Booth Auditorium at 6 o'clock. What can we expect to see? You can expect to see five beautiful contestants yes. compete in on-stage swimsuit, talent, evening gown, and on-stage question. Uh, we'll have Caitlin there as host, and we're scheduled to have Miss Kentucky Jessica Casebolt as ca as co-host. Yes. But I'm really hoping that she won't be able to make it yes. because she'll be busy at being Miss America. Miss America, because that pageant, of course, uh, coming up, and by the time uh, Miss U Pike rolls around, it will be decided. Be we're over. all crossing our fingers, wishing Jessica well. Uh, we've been following this success, the entire community, Eastern Kentucky, and uh, the entire Commonwealth now, uh, following the success of our own Jessica Case Bolt. She won the Miss Kentucky title, and she's getting uh, ready to represent in the Miss America pageant. Let's talk about that. Uh, I know you've had great contact with Jessica and spent a lot of time with her. What's that experience been like? Uh, Jessica has been... Um the perfect contestant from the get-go. Uh, she has all the qualities of being just really driven and competitive and she doesn't care to put herself in uncomfortable situations sure. if it means that it's going to uh, cause her to learn more, be better, be stronger. She loves a challenge, right. but she's still the same girl that she's yeah. always been since her very first teen pageant years and years ago. Um, her natural ability to just make people comfortable, Right. I, I hope, is what sets her apart from the other contestants at Miss America. And of course, uh, Jessica, she's, she will be one of the youngest contestants at Miss America. While I know the, the age limit 18 to 25, mm -hmm. but Jessica is one of the younger. Many of the, the young ladies that represent the states, they're older. Uh, they're leaning toward the back end of that. Uh, college grad graduates, 22, yeah. 23, 24 years old. Yeah. She's younger than that. A little bit more life experience. Is that an advantage? Well, we have had a 17 and an 18 year old Miss America uh -huh. uh, within the past 10 years. Uh, so it's not unheard of right. for a very young student to win Miss America. Um, I, you see a lot of older girls compete because most girls have to go to their state pageant two or three times. Yes. Get a little bit more experience under their belt before mm -hmm. they're um, able to take home the title. Jessica did it her second year out. Yeah. Uh, we know how this works. Let's go win it. 
And that's yeah. what Jessica did. We're talking about the Miss Upike pageant. It's coming up January 26th at Booth Auditorium. And uh, as we head toward this year's pageant, how can the community become involved in supporting the Miss Upike pageant? Well, it would be wonderful if you came out and attended. Sure. Uh, this is a completely volunteer-ran organization, completely run by donations. <laughs> Uh, we will be charging $10 admission and all of that money will go towards funding the pageant. Um, there are fees that I have to pay as a director in sure. order to have the pageant included as a Miss Kentucky preliminary. And then there are shiny crowns to purchase yes. and a, a beautiful sash um, as well as a $200 cash scholarship that will be given. Right. And of course it is a scholarship a pageant. It is a uh, precursor to the Miss Kentucky pageant. The winner of Miss U Pike moves on, represents the university uh, for the next year, and we have the reigning Miss U Pike with us now, Caitlin Minix. What a great first Miss U Pike. You write the history books on this pageant. What a great first. She was a really uh, strong competitor from the very beginning. She knew what she needed to do. I mean, not, not many people will learn a talent just to get to compete for yeah. a title. But she saw beyond, I, I just want to participate in this. She saw that she could have a big impact on her community. And uh, she's very competitive. She likes the challenge. So this is just one more uh, competition for her to put all of her effort into. And I think it's really gonna shape uh, her ability to help people in the future because she is so comfortable being interviewed and, yes. and being out in the spotlight and being out in public. I always say if, if you can handle a Miss Kentucky interview, you can handle any job interview. Right. And if you can rock a two-piece swimsuit on stage, uh, you can put yourself in any uncomfortable situation and Absolutely. come out the other side. <laughs> Absolutely. You're tuned to Where the 99 Lead. It's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville. We talk all things regarding the University of Pikeville, academics, athletics, and this edition we talk about the Miss U Pike Scholarship Pageant. Uh, Katina Justice, director of the Miss U Pike Pageant, our guest, along with the reigning Miss U Pike, Caitlin Menix. And Katina, if someone would like more information on the pageant uh, about how to take part, how to volunteer, and uh, just the basic information, how can they find that? Uh, they would need to contact me. You can call me at 422-1829 or you can email me at missupikepageant at gmail.com. That should be so simple to remember. Missupikepageant uh, at, at gmail.com. Gmail. Uh, we also have a group Facebook page that anyone can join. It's yes. the Miss University of Pikeville Pageant group page or you can just message me on Facebook as well. Our, is registration closed for this year's pageant? It is. And when will we meet these young ladies? January 26th on Got to be there. You have to be there. Booth Auditorium, January 26th. What time does the pageant start? 6 p.m. $10 per person. $10 per person. It's going to be a wonderful show. Our UPIC dancers will provide entertainment. If Jessica gets the opportunity to come, she'll provide some entertainment for us. Right. Uh, I also have two other title holders. Our pre-team Miss Mountain Pride is from right here in Pikeville, Daisha Bartley, and she's going to dance. And our Miss Mountain Pride's outstanding teen, yes. Hannah Nelms, is a beautiful dancer from Louisville, and she'll be there to entertain us. Very good. Any chance we might see Caitlin Clogg? I've asked her. <laughs> There's a chance. I need to find my CD <laughs> to my song. Katina <laughs> Justice, director of the Miss U Pike pageant, our guest on this edition of Where the 99 Lead, and the reigning Miss U Pike uh, for just a few more days. And uh, what a great first, Miss U Pike. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. And Katina, good luck with the pageant. I can't wait. Thank I you. I plan to be there. And I'll be flying out to Vegas tomorrow. So there are still two more days left to vote for Miss um, America's Choice for go Jessica. Ahead, go ahead and pass that information along. Uh, you can go to MissAmerica.org or JessicaCaseBolt.com. Vote for Jessica Casebolt, our Miss Kentucky, as uh, she competes in the Miss America pageant. You've been tuned to Where the 99 Lead with Katina Justice, director of the Miss U Pike pageant, our reigning Miss U Pike, Caitlin Menix. I'm Andrew Joyce, your host. Where the 99 Lead, brought to you by the University of Pikeville, the leading University of Central Appalachia.